Why is not exporting out? I'm spent all these hours. <sighs> Why is not exporting? I know I can feel your frustration. I've been there, done it myself. So in this video, I will share with you my experience. Some of my experience, some are from Lumo Fusion. What happened? Let's find out together. Should we? Let's go. So you've done all your all your video, all your cutting, okay? What happened? Try to export out? Couldn't. Okay. There's a few reasons. Let's go to do my touch right here. So I'll, I'll base on my checklist right now, right now. Okay, this one. Let's supply this checklist. So I'll leave down the description below for to this uh, checklist. Now I'm getting an error or crash when exporting my movie. Lumo Fusion supply us with all this you know, walk around. <laughs> okay, the first one. Check that your device is updated to the latest version of iOS and Lumo Fusion. The iPad that I have right here is iPad Air uh, iOS 14, but I have updated to the latest one. Lumo Fusion is the latest. Okay, so all that check. Make sure you do that. If you got the uh, the last the iOS 14, 13, just update it. Well, take you one hour to update. Okay, so. Do that first. Uh, second solution that I have here is force close all apps, okay? Then power back on the device. After restart, try the export again, which I have done. Sometimes I do that if uh, Luma for Fusion can't export out, okay? Usually, this should solve most of the problems. Usually, most of the time, it should solve the problem. Problem. The the other one that they have here is very practical. <laughs> okay, check the storage space available on your device. In order to export, there needs to be space available on the device to run your project. <laughs> so, so they, they ask you here, right? Check the file size of your project. Okay, go to share, export movie, settings info. Okay, I'll show you that. Okay, go to export. Question mark right here. Wrong one. Movie. There it is. Okay. Now, you, with your settings right here, right? It determines whatever you export out. So right now, if I export out 4K at extreme quality, 100 megabit per second. Okay. 2 gig. Of memory export out but if I reduce that to 1080p 900 megabit megabytes okay but right now I have available space is 21 gig on my 64 gig uh, iPad Air right here okay so that's how you find out which settings is right for you if I go to economy it's really it reduces down as well even in 4k for example 4k go back to 4k 500 megabit per second. Okay, 500 megabyte. Okay, half a gig. So that's the settings you can play with. And make sure go down here, available space. <laughs> okay, so that's Luma Fusion give you a very practical tips right there. Check your iPhone, iPad storage. Okay, setting app, general iPhone, iPad storage. I'll show you that as well. So go to your iPhone settings. Go to settings. Okay, this is your settings. Go to iPad storage right there. Right in the middle right there, iPad storage. Tap on that. And right now I'm using 43 gig out of 64. So the math that we did before, 21 gig available on my iPad. But right now, Luma Fusion, you can export out to your external hard drive. Okay, you can export out from to this. That's a workflow that you can work with as well if you want to. Toggle on the alternative export method. It's number three they have on the list, number four on the list. Okay, toggle on the external export method. Okay, I'll show you that now, right now. Okay, go to your settings, question mark right here. Go to preferences, prefer alternate export. Turn that on. So you can toggle that, toggle that on and off right here. And that's should hopefully solve your problem. 
Then try export now again and see what happens, okay? Now, the next solution that they think could be the problem is your, your media. Something wrong with your media. So they suggest you to optimize and consolidate your media, your project, okay? To do that, right, go, go back out to your project. So I have a project here, James Bond, right? Now, if you feel that this project has is the problem, right? The James Bond right here, right? There's this button right here with the, uh, the funnel, okay? Right there on my finger where I touch. Tap on that and we'll, this one will show up. Consolidate, there's three, two options. Optimize and consolidate or just consolidate, okay? The first option right there, they will say will duplicate the selected project. Optimize the media to resolve the playback and export issue. And copy it into a single folder in the import library. This solution will take more space on your hard drive, on your iPad. The second option, consolidate media will copy the media to your import library without optimizing. So they usually with this right, they either copy or copy and optimize. But I haven't done this to resolve the problem, okay? And I'll show you my way of thinking that could be your problem as well, okay? Try that if you need to. So go to your funnel and this pop-up will, will show up. It will take some time, okay? It will take some time to do. If you have a very long project, right? Over 20 minutes, half an hour, it will take a long time to do a copy and optimize your, your file, okay? And we're gonna take some space on your hard drive, trust me. They say here, if you see an error message, okay, error at time, they say take note of that. This might provide a good indication of where the problem is in the project. Often, is it in this case, there may be a prob problematic clip just before or after the noted time, or there might be a transition or effect that's contributing to the problem. If an error at that time is an issue, try removing possible problematic clips and re-exporting out. Now, after all that problem, in this checklist you have gone through and you still could not find a solution, then you ask them to help. <laughs> and yeah, okay. So I'll, give, I'll leave this, uh, this uh, Checklist, this checklist are down in the description so you can yeah, read it yourself. I'm gonna show you my way because I emailed them as well. And um, yeah, they will, they will get back to you. Not sure how long, depends on where, okay? but they will surely get back to you. Okay. Now, my personal solution. Okay. Now, if you're shooting 4K and try to export out 4K, if your project is over 25 minutes long, you might have a problem. Try to considering reducing your timeline, make two, two versions, so one is like 10 minutes, one is 15 minutes. So that could solve your problem right there. The other way is export out 1080p, okay, instead of 4K. Two practical solutions for you, okay. The other practical solution that I found out was basically I was using this dongle here to plug in my power. Okay, I have power here, plugged in right here, right? And it will cause trouble. It will cause problem with my export. Somehow I couldn't export out if I it's charging at the same time as I'm exporting out. So what 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 I usually do is I unplug. I unplug the power, then I'll do the exporting. And 99% of the time, it works straight away without doing any other stuff. The only time that the iPad is really hot is when you exporting out. <laughs> so what I usually do is I leave it vertical like this. Make sure you have a lot of ventilation is what I mean, okay? There's no fan or anything, but this bottom part of the iPad here is really hot. And what I found out was, after you export out a very long project, right, it gets really hot, really hot. One time I export out a project over half an hour, 
and the export out nearly complete, nearly complete, right? And it shut down. Export fail. Okay. <laughs> Try to pull your hair out, right? Right there, right? Try to pull your hair out. <sighs> what happened there? Okay. I found out I was I was leaving the iPad flat like that. I left the iPad flat like that. No ventilation at all. Okay. So for my experience, leave the iPad like that. Have some ventilation. Have some fan or anything. If you can have a fan, a small fan. Blow on the, the back of the iPad. Cool it down somehow, and it should help with your exporting. Finger crossed. But usually, what I leave with vertical like this, right? It should help anyway. My name is Travis Chow. I'm a time lapse nurse. If you find the video is valuable to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. I supply this kind of content for you to better, to better yourself as an editor, a shooter, or anything else. Make sure you check out my playlist as well. There's a lot of great content there for you to check out. I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.